Welcome to Tennis Spin, where we put our spin on your tennis. Guys, I just found two of these princes, the Phantom 93 P's, just kind of lying around. So I thought I'd take them, try them out. Got my man, Coach Goo. Got my man, Coach Chris. We're going to try them out for you. Stay tuned. So I found two of these Phantom 93 P's um, and I'm like, hey, we should try these things. All right, so I strung them up. Um, Babolat RPM Rough 16 gauge, 53 pounds, both of them. Uh, so just to give you a quick background, uh, these 93 P's are 12.2 ounces strung, 93 square inch head. So one of the smallest heads on the market today. 60 RA super flexible racket let me tell you this beam guys it's a 20.5 19.5 16.5 I repeat 16.5 that is as thin as a racket comes and not only that it's on an 18 by 20 so can they make a racket any harder to play with Jesus Christ, that is nuts. This brings me back to the 80s when they were making all rackets super, super thin. At least it's on the heavier side, which is going to help. And they also added Toron in to stiffen up the racket a bit. So, got my man Coach Goo, my man Coach Chris here, and we're going to test it out. Hopefully we get some power out of these things. Stay tuned. Alright, so we just got off the court with these Phantom 93 P's. Coach Goo, what'd you think? Um, overall, I mean, surprisingly it delivered a lot of pop that I didn't expect. Um, it's a really thin racket. This is probably the thinnest racket I've ever used and tested. Um, but overall, I was really surprised. It's definitely flexible for sure of how thin the beam is. But it also had some stiffness to give it a little pop, which was interesting. So. Overall, I felt most of the weight going through the throat and then probably halfway through the racket. I don't think it was like, not like the Yonex that went all the way around. This kind of stopped right between, started between the throat and all the way to maybe half the racket. That's where I felt the momentum. Um, ground strokes, they're pretty good. I mean, they're not bad for a thin racket like this. I mean, you can deliver a lot of pop. It swings through the air pretty well. Um, volleys, I could stick a few volleys with this, which is really surprising but serves um they're a little tough for me honestly um it definitely is, especially when you hit the top part here it's really tough um but like when you hit it right it comes off really nice but when you hit it just a bit off the target it does feel a little harsher on your arms so just be careful if you're just trying to chest this out just be careful but overall i mean for a thin racket like this i'm pretty pleasantly surprised with prince Coach Chris, what do you think? Um, I like playing with this racket too as well. So after playing with this, 
I was, yeah, surprised. I didn't think I would be able to handle this racket, but and enjoy it. But actually, when you make a clean contact through, it felt like I was playing, you know, uh, quite comfortably with it. The ninety, it didn't feel like a ninety-three. It felt a little bit of a bigger head size. Um, the swing weight though was a little bit hard to. It was a little heavier to get through. Um, but again, just making sure you just prepare that racket and swing through a little bit faster. It was really crisp on the volleys too, um, and the frame overall, it is a little heavier than what I'm used to. Um, and but overall, again, just kind of like oh, and then one thing I noticed too as well, just the handle as well, just it's it's a little bit sharp on the bezels for me too as well. I don't know if that you might need to like, you know, uh, over grip it a little bit more, but for me, I'm not that big of a fan of that. But other than that, um, I think it was another good, overall good racket to, to demo and try out. Yeah, it's a little sharp for Coach Chris here. Yeah, delicate hands. Um, anyway, so I thought this racket was surprisingly good. It reminded me a lot of like a Pro Staff 90 from back in the day. You catch it right, baby goes, right? I think the power is definitely going to be coming from the top where it's a little thicker. The 20.5 is definitely where the stiffness is coming from. But definitely a lot of flexible, like flexibility in the throat area because it's so thin. So you do feel it uh, giving here in the throat. Um, so one interesting thing that for some reason they didn't tell you on uh, the, the Prince the Tennis Warehouse site is it is classified as 27 inches. When I actually looked at the throat, I was like, that looks like it's more than 27 inches. So I took another racket, a la this Dunlop, and I put it on the bottom it's actually longer right but they don't say that it's about i would say a good half inch longer yes extended yeah, I would say so yeah extended so, extended right so they probably should have said 27.5 instead of 27. Mm -hmm. um and it comes well and it comes with this leather uh, the leather grip that coach chris was complaining about mm -hmm. but overall great racket i mean really solid hit through the ball really well mm -hmm. uh, when you come through it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, any final words, Goo? I mean, I mean, I'm mean, i surprised with Prince. I haven't seen Prince rackets for a while. So, this one's actually a pretty interesting stick, which I like. So. Yeah. Definitely high level yeah, player high stick. Level, yeah. Definitely. Sure. It, has, it has that potential for sure. Right. Coach Chris, any last words? No, again, just definitely that, you know, this isn't, especially when you're serving with this racket, um, to generate the swing speed, you have to be, you have to be a little bit more on it. So yeah, that's yeah, definitely true. For sure. Because, um, like, like I said before, it's pretty, pretty harsh when you don't hit it at the right spot. Yeah. So mm -hmm. if you're a four five and a five zero and up, this is probably your stick. Unless you swing for the fence and you got one speed, then you can try it too. All right. So want to thank my man, Coach Goo. Where can we find you, Goo? You can find me at agu tennis. I'll also be posting content there as well. All right, you can, you guys know where to find me. Coach Chris is still taking a break from social media. Uh, guys, thank you for watching Tennis Spin, where we put our spin on your tennis.